Hey everyone, I'm Rosie and welcome to this video. Today we're gonna just have a little bit of fun, we're gonna be a little silly, and we're gonna make some cool animal combinations. So we might take like a kangaroo, put some bird wings on him, maybe some cow legs, and then have like a fish coming out of his pouch or something like that. I'm not exactly sure what we're gonna make, but I think if we take some animal parts and stick them together and make some weird new creatures, that could be really cool. So let's move on over to the desk and we'll get started. All right, so I've gathered all the animals that I have cut out already, but we're obviously gonna need a lot more. So we need to dive in, grab some more things, and I think we should be thinking about how big things are. We have to make sure the sizes are gonna work together well when we pair them together. So I think that's something we're just gonna have to keep in the back of our mind the whole time. But let's get started and dig through some stuff and pull out more animals. I've collected a lot of animals and I mean I'm honestly think that this is maybe too many and I'm gonna be overwhelmed and I'm not sh gonna know what to do <laughs> um, but let's just take a look at all of these a lot of these I thought the heads were funny and so like this bunny I thought if his uh, we chopped his head off and stuck it on something else that'd be funny this howler monkey is also making a funny face. Um, so I think I, I, I stuck to a lot of the funny faces, but I did try to get, you know, some other stuff like a lot of wings, which would be funny. This bear I thought was just sitting in the most ridiculous position. So maybe if he got like a funny head, like the, even the howler monkey head, that could be funny. Um, so there is a lot of stuff here, even like this hippo, crazy. This fennec fox was just too cute. I could not cut him out. So we have lots of stuff here. Um, I think what we need to do, like we always do, is cut everything out and then we can better assess everything that we have. All right, here's the moment we've been waiting for. I got everything cut out, and now we can start pairing stuff together. I don't even know, there's too many animals. I'm like very confused, but let's find like my favorite face, which is probably either this hippo or this howler monkey. And should I put him on this bear? Okay, let's see. Let's, like, let's fold this back and see if that's kind of funny. Hmm, that's pretty good. Kind of like that. How will a monkey feel like? Also good. Also good, but not as good as the hippo. All right, let's pair these two together. Man, we gotta make some space. All right, we gotta do a little bit of trimming, but I think that's gonna work. Now let's try to put something else with it. Maybe a pair of wings. So, I mean, that's not quite, I don't think those are big enough. I also don't think those are quite big enough. Okay, I just thought, I just remembered that we can detach these wings and so these I think will work perfectly because they're, they are a good size, they're just too close together. So if we cut, if we separate them, you can have the one on this side and then one on the other side. So like that, but if we, once we separate them. So let's do that because I actually kind of think that that's really cute. All 
All right, I think we gotta get a piece of paper in here to sort of house some finished things. Oh my God, guys, too many animals. This is, this is absurd, too many, too many, too many. Okay, so we got this bear. Wow, this is crazy. All right, we got this bear with these butterfly wings. Oh, that is cute. I am liking that a lot. And then we put the hippo face. Now, oh yeah, that is good. That is good. That is really awesome. Now let's see if there's any other parts that we wanna add, like maybe a tail, possibly. Wow, okay, lots going on here. Like I thought this howler monkey tail would be funny. I do think it's facing the wrong way because I think if we, we want the tail to come out over here, I think. Well, that might be, that might work, but let's keep looking in our pile here. Like this Roadrunner tail, not that bad, also a possibility. I think I'm liking this Roadrunner tail, so let's chop it off. <laughs> All right, we got our first animal done. Let's see what else we wanna to pair together. All right, I said at the beginning that I wanted to use this jackrabbit head for something, so let's get him off. I just think his head to his ears is perfect for something. Wow, that actually, he fits with this walrus, or whatever, this sea lion, whatever this is. His colors are actually very similar and he actually fits Oh my God, surprisingly well together. But I don't know if there's anything I'd wanna to add to that. What about these wings? These bee wings or wasp wings? Okay, I like this. Um, bunny and sea lion thing but I want to try to find something to put this leg these ostrich legs on like oh man I wish this chicken was facing the other way because that would be funny although maybe it's funny that they are facing the wrong way maybe that's like extra funny so let's keep let's hold on to these what else could we add these on Yep, chicken. Chicken it is, backwards legs. That's hilarious. Love it, okay. Cut these off. All right, that's incredible. I love that so much. <laughs> but now what else do we wanna add? Maybe should the chicken get a new head? Should the chicken get a second head? should okay i don't think i'm going to use any more butterflies because i have one with wings already so let's get rid of these like this bird's head is really funny would it be funny here it's a little bit maybe too big oh boy i don't know i'm not sure if i can get that to work right and i think I mean, the chicken just on itself is funny, but I wanna add one more thing. What if we added this uh, toucan bill to the chicken? Uh, I, think it's, I think it's too big. That's not quite right. All right, I wanted us to be able to see a little bit better what was going on. Oh wait, we want it, don't wanna lose our jackrabbit. And walrus, so we'll put him right there. So, what else do we want to add to chicken, dude? Oh, what about a uh, howler monkey tail? No, the tail's going the wrong way again. 
I mean, uh, does it make sense if it, like that is just weird, I think. No. What about an elephant trunk? Oh boy. Too big. Yeah, this is tough because chicken's mouth is so incredibly small. Hmm. Okay, what if we take the back end of this dolphin? I kind of like that. Did you see that? Like if we did that sort of thing? Yeah, I like that, let's do it. All right, I need to trim, I need to trim it down so it fits. But what if we also add one of the fins from the dolphin? Do we need that? All right, I like, I like that dolphin tail, although I don't think that we need the fins. I did like that. I like, did like to see that, but I don't think we need them. Um, is he done? I think chicken, dolphin, uh, ostrich legs might be done. Now I think I wanted to use this fennec fox face because it was just so cute. And I think it actually might fit nice because it's kind of big. It might fit nice on this elephant's body if we take everything. Well, actually, mm, I don't know. I also kind of ripped this elephant's foot. So we can just ignore that. Ooh, I don't know, actually. Hmm. Oh, okay, hold on. What if we, let's move some of this stuff out of the way. Let's bring back jackrabbit plus sea lion <laughs> and see if we want to add howler monkey tail to this. Is that, do we like that? Hmm, well that I feel like is a little bit of a weird position. Hmm, do we like that? I don't know, I don't know. What about fennec fox tail? It's big and fluffy. Hmm. I kinda like that, I think I might steal this tail. All right, do we like that? Oh, but I also just realized, did we try these wings on here? I know we already have one wings, but these are not butterfly wings, they're bird wings. Huh, do I like that? Let's chop them off and see. Okay, tail and wings, probably a little bit too much. Let's remove the tail. I mean, I kind of like that, but I also like the tail. Although I kind of wish something was a different color. They all are sort of like blending in too much, if that makes sense. I feel like they look kind of, it looks like a little bit too real, rather, whereas some of these other ones are all different colors. And so they are more fun because it's very obvious that they're separated, but Ooh, I don't know. I just don't know. A radical idea. What if we ditch the jackrabbit head and put the howler monkey head on this? I actually think that that's really funny. Okay, let's chop this head off. Okay, <laughs> okay, that's gonna be really funny. We just have to sort of get, uh, get the cut right and the joint right. Oh, I think that's pretty good. <laughs> well, I like 
See, I like that the monkey's face is a completely different color. Um, I think that that, for some reason, works really well because they're contrasting nicely. Now, what if we, since we have this monkey cut out with no head, put the jackrabbit head on it? I mean, <laughs> that's absolutely weird. I think that um, hippo, bear, butterfly is good. I think chicken, dolphin is good too. I also think howler, monkey, sea lion is good. I like, I think three elements is, is pretty perfect. So what if we bring back these wings and add them to this monkey? Oh boy, tail got stuck. Oh no, okay. Now I think that we have to do a little bit of fixing of the cuts on these, but that's, I mean, <laughs> that's also absolutely ridiculous. Okay, these are so good. Oh my God, I cannot stop laughing at them. They're so funny. I feel like I could do this forever. I have so many more animals. It's so easy to just chop their heads off and stick them on another body. They're so funny, but I am going to stop at four because I do think this is like a nice little set. I could do a part two if you're interested in that, but I think that for today, we'll leave it with, uh, I feel like we should name these. So what if we have like Patricia and this one can be Ernie and this one can be Bertha. Oh yeah, that's good. And then this one, oh my gosh, she's just so special. This hippo bear can be, I feel like she should, I feel like, mm, I feel like she should have a delicate name like Clementine or something. <laughs> okay, so I already forgot them all. We have Patricia, we have Bertha, Ernie, and Clementine. I love those names, that's so cute. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram and I'll see you next Thursday, bye.